All right. So this is what your notes look like. My skinny, skinny lines. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, we're going to talk about this scenario. You guys see? Whoops, I'm sorry. You guys see this picture? When you guys have a line that intersects two or more lines, it's called a transversal. It's called a transversal, okay? So we have several types of angle pairs that are created. So if, if I say, I should probably number them, let's number them. You guys see where two lines intersect? There's four angles that are created. Now I'm going to start and, 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 and count this from five, six, seven, eight. So what's that? You remember this? You had this before? I feel like I've seen it, yeah. Maybe this is deja vu. Maybe, maybe you've been in this class already. Maybe you've traveled back in time and you just don't realize it. All right, so. First of all, you guys see what's between these lines here? What's between these lines? We call that the interior. So we have angles that are located inter interior or outside or exterior of those lines, right? So three, four, five, and six are all on the interior. Those are interior angles, right? Because they're in between those lines. Angle one, two, and seven and eight are on the exterior of those lines. All right? Yes, ma'am. I didn't get that one. You didn't? Oh, that's right. You were you were helping me and I. Does everyone have these two handouts? All right. So, so the next thing is that when you pair up these angles, they're either on the same side. You guys see that this is my transversal. This is my transversal. I agree. That's the line that intersects both those other lines. A line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points is called the transversal. I agree is my transversal. Now in relation to my transversal, these angle pairs are either on the same side or on alternative sides. Like one and four are on opposite sides or alternative sides of that transversal. So they're either on the same side, like, like angle six and angle Eight are on the same side of the transversal. Okay? Same side. Now, angle one and angle four are on alternate sides of the transversal. Got it? That's a thing. That's, how, that's a way we can classify angles. We can say, that they're on the interior or they're on the exterior between the lines, between our lines that are being intersected by the transversal. And that they are on the same side of the transversal or on alternate sides of the transversal. Okay, so let me give you some examples. Let me give you some examples. So Let's go to the next page. Well, we have something that's called alternative interior angles. Now, remember, I said that this was my transversal, right? Let's throw anybody off that that's in a different color. That's my transversal. These are the two lines that that transversal are intersecting. Okay. So now, no, I can alternate sides, meaning that means like a one side on this, one side on that side. But interior means they got to be between those yellow lines. 
So alternate interior angles are going to be, you know, which ones? Let me let me let me show you. Oh, let's see. I guess I'll go green. Oh, I'll go perfect. So they got to be alternate. They got to be on different sides of the transversal. Plus, they have to be between the lines. Well, two and seven are is are an example of alternate interior angles because they're on alternate sides of the transversal, and they're interior inside in between the two lines that transversal intersects. So I can say two and seven for angle two and angle seven. Let's go angle two and angle seven. Because they are angles. Well, we have we have two more. That's just one example. We also have angle six and angle three. So we got two pairs of alternate interior angles. Angle six. Sorry, I'm just I gotta change my lines. Get back here. This so angle six and angle three are also alternate interior angles, right? So I have two examples there from that picture. I also can talk about alternate exterior angles. Now, exterior are going to be outside my two lines. If you guys think of these two lines that are kind of paired together. If you think of that, that that the inside is my highway. The outside is is the gutter. Is the is the is the, what's that called? The 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 curb, the median. This is inside. This is interior. This is exterior. Outside the highway. Inside the highway. Okay. Well, if we're talking about alternate exterior, now we're talking about different sides of the transversal outside the yellow lines. So four and five are examples of that. Angle four and angle five are alternate exterior angles. Also, alternate exterior angles are angle one and uh, angle five, angle eight. Okay, they're on alternate sides of the transversal, that blue line that we call the transversal, but they're on the outside of the highway. They're not between our yellow lines. Make sense? All right. Now we also can have same side. Now the same side, when we're talking about alternate and same side, we're talking about the transversal. So the same side means they're all going to be on the right side of the transversal, or they're all going to be on the left side of the transversal. Now interior is in between the lines. So same side interior would be six and seven. Angle six and angle seven would be one example. And the other example would be angle two and angle three. They're same side of the transversal. They're interior of those lines. So angle two and angle three. Okay. Next one. Well, we can have same side exterior angles. Same side exterior. Exterior means outside the two lines so same side same side as the transversal but outside so same side would be exterior would be five and eight angle five and angle eight and also angle one and angle four okay all right that's how we uh, that's how we classify angles when we have two lines that are intersecting intersected by another line that's called a transversal. Okay, this is their angle relationship. We also have something called corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles are angles that correspond by position to those intersecting lines. Okay. So who's really good at reading maps? Uh, All of you, right? You guys never get lost, right? Never been lost ever. Well, think of corresponding angles as, as angles matching by position. 
Now, I don't have a good map for this, so I'm kind of I'm going to kind of. I guess I can use this. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna recycle this. Okay. So you guys see that where where this these two lines intersect, it creates four angles. Well, it does that down here also. It creates four angles. Now think of your map. Now this is upper left. This is upper right. This is lower left. This is lower right. Or this is northwest. This is northeast. This is southwest. This is southeast. Okay. Well, guys, you see where one is right there? Where is that angle by position with these intersecting lines? What number? It's going to be three. That's the same angle by position of those intersecting lines. We call angle one and angle three, we call them corresponding angles. Because they're both in the upper left position of those intersecting lines. Corresponding is by location, by reference of where those lines intersect. Well, I can do this. I can pair these up three more times. All right. What's my corresponding angle to angle six? Yeah, that's going to be eight. Lower right, lower right. Angle six and angle eight are corresponding angles. How about angle five? What, what's my corresponding angle to angle five? Here's the angle seven. We call angle five and angle seven, we call them corresponding angles. But I also can ask, well, what's my corresponding angle to angle four? Yeah, it's going to be angle two. You guys see that? That is a reference of angles by position, by the position that, that they're corresponding angles. So there's four examples. I'm just going to list one. Um, angle one and angle three, was that the one? Was that one of the first ones? It's an example of corresponding angles. And they're matching, the angles match by the position of those intersecting lines. All right? Questions on that? Now we're going to go through this. We're going to go through an example, and we're going to answer the question, and then the rest of the class period, we actually have an activity. Yes, sir. All right, let's go to the next page. So I've got a picture here. And I gotta get my lines back. So I'm looking at angle one and angle five. What, what, what type of angle match is that? What pair is that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's matching by position. So we can say that these are corresponding angles. All right. What about angle four and angle six? Are they exterior? Are they exterior? Oh, no, interior. Yeah, they're in between the two lines. So they're alternate interior angles. Right? So angle four and angle 10. Now be careful here. Our highways have changed. I don't like this picture, but notice that this is the transversal. You know it's a transversal because these two angles both are beside it. That's another way you can identify a transversal. You guys see, I got, I've got two transversals here, connect bisecting these lines. Well, in the same respect, this gets really confusing. I don't know why you got this, but you guys, you guys are good. I got you. 
we also got this line intersecting these two lines. So that, that technically, that's a transversal for angle one and angle angle eight. Okay. So you, you identify your transversal by where the line that both angles are by. Okay. Well, that wasn't in our earlier definition. I've got another video online I will share with all of you. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. Let's go back to this. So angle four and angle 10, which which line are they do they share? Which line are they next to? Well, they're next, they're both next to this line right here. This is their transversal. So you identify the transversal by the shared line. Okay. That green line, that's their transversal. Now, once you've identified the transversal, you ask yourself, are they on alternate sides of the transversal or are they on the same side of that transversal? So they're on either side. So this is alternate. That's where that first word comes from. So I know that this is alternate. Now, are they in between the lines or outside? They're outside, so now they're exterior. All right? So let's look at angle two and angle nine. Now, angle two and angle nine are right along the same line. So that's their transversal. Well, now you got to ask, are they all on the same side or are they all on the alternate sides of that transversal? Well, they're on the same side. This is your transversal. This is where it gets confusing. When we start moving around on this. So this is angle two and angle nine. They are on the same side of that transversal. Just, pretend, just ignore this one right down, right down here for right now. And they're between the two lines, so they're interior. So same side, interior angles. All right. Are you guys are ready for this now? We can abbreviate these. We can abbreviate each of these. You guys don't have to write out corresponding angles. You guys don't have to write out alternative interior angles. You, guys, you, can, you can abbreviate. You can do corresponding. You can do alternate interior angles. All right? You don't have to write this out in your homework. Got it? You can write out alternate exterior angles, A, E, angles, okay? You can do this in your in the activity, in your in your practice homework that we're gonna do in class together. Uh, Same side. Well, this is, we're, we're not gonna just go SI, this is gonna be SSI, all right? That's your abbreviation for same side interior angles, okay? So we can abbreviate these answers. You don't have to write all these out. Okay. Next angle pair. I have angle four and angle 12. Who, who remembers what that relationship is? What do you got? Say again? It is. It's corresponding. This one's lower left to that intersection. This is lower left. These are corresponding angles again. What is the relationship between one and two? There'll be no relationship. Um, I'll, I'll let you know. Corresponding angles. And that's just going to be core. So one and two. Well, they're both located along a straight angle. We already learned this. What type of angles are they? Yeah, the straight angle adds up to 180. So they, we know they're supplementary, but they also have an angle relationship. We call that a linear pair. Remember linear pair? That's what I hit you over the head with a two by four on Thursday about. Because we had three questions on the test about linear pair. 
Oh. One four would also be linear. One four are also linear pair. That's also linear pair. Okay. Yeah. So now I look at three and nine. Again, the angle, the, the, the line that they're both by, that's their transversal. So they're on, they are in this, are they on the same side of that transversal or are they on different sides? So they're on alternate sides. So that's what you start with. And then you gotta figure out are they interior or are they exterior? So now they're in, in between these lines. You just kind of ignore this one right now. And they're interior. Interior, I don't know how to spell here. Alternate interior angles. And that's just AI. And AI is not, not, not artificial intelligence in geometry. It's, it's alternate interior angles. Sorry, I just disappoint you guys. I would be really excited if we had all like AI angles for me. Artificial intelligence. That'd be really cool. Yes, ma'am. One and twelve. They're not really there's not there's no relationship there. Just NR. NR. I mean, we could make a relationship. We could say if we had parallel lines, we could make something of it. We could make a relationship of it, but off the off the bat, not knowing anything about this, uh, there's no relationship. We know that 12 is a linear pair with nine, and we know that nine is corresponding to one. So we can we can we can write out a mass sentence with their relationship, but then individually we there, there's no connection without without angle nine or even angle ten. We could say they're they're vertical angles without without another angle, including another angle. I can't say anything. So two and seven. Look what happened here. They moved our, our, our transversal. You see angle two is up here. Angle seven is right here. Both now, guys, our transversal is always that shared line they're next to. So now this is my shared line. It, it moved. My transversal is there. And this is my highway here. These two lines are my highway. So are they on the same side of that transversal? No, they're on alternate side. That's the first thing you've got to decide. They're alternate. So now you got are they between the lines or are they exterior outside the lines? Exterior. Well, they're exterior, they're outside. So this has to be exterior. Angles. And that again is A E is how you is how you uh, abbreviate that. Just now. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Well, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, you go too. I got two passes. Okay, angle three and angle 12. Now, now they're changing on us again. You guys, this is a little confusing for introducing this concept to you, but but know that you could have something that looks crazy like this. I mean, I could have, I could have, I could have, I could have four more angles here. I could, like this is a picture from a, another, some other content we're gonna see next week. So, I mean, it, it can get really crazy. And the thing you gotta know is you gotta first identify the angle pair. I and mean, we're talking about angle three and angle 12, right? And then you've gotta identify the transversal and the transversal is always the line that both angles are by. Well, that, they're not both by this one. And they're not both by this one. Neither one of those are my transversals. So we got to realize that this is my transversal because that is the line that both angles are by. Okay? So now, once you identify which is the transversal, you got to decide are they on the same side or are they on alternate sides? Are angle three and angle 12 on the same side of this transversal or alternate sides? No. I'm, I'm pointing like they're alternate. They are. Are they? Yeah. My transversal is the green. Because four is where. Three and 12. Three and 12. I know, same but side four is where 12 is. You see they're on the same side of this transversal? My transversal is in green. Well, 
Same side, bro. Shut no, up. same side. Christian's right. Christian, side. Christian got it for all the money. It's same side as you. Hey, she, he's roasting you right now. So these are same sides. Watch and learn. What, what else are they, Christian? Interior. They're same side. Interior. Angles. Oh, man, it's going to get good in here. Okay? And that's going to be SSI. All right? Last example, then you guys can do a handout. That's the homework. I'm going to have about 15 minutes to finish it. Angle one and angle seven now. I'm going to erase this again because they're moving the transversal on us. Angle one and angle seven. Well, the line that those angles are both by, that's your transversal. All right? So this right here is my transversal. So are they on the same side or alternative sides of that transversal? So they're same sides. So now are they exterior or interior? They're outside the line. So they're same side exterior angles. And you don't have to write all that out. You can just say same side SSD angles. All right? That is the lesson. You have 15 minutes to do the handout. That is the practice. Um, and that's going to be for grade, right? A little confused or a lot of confused? All right, what's your question? Oh, okay. Saul, Saul knows this. Yeah, I do. Oh, wait, you, you got to wait. You got to wait, Jess. I got two hours. All right, so this, this is what I got. I'm all, who, who's still working on the notes? I'll leave that up a little bit. Let me let me cue this up. Let me show some of you guys. The, the assignment's a little cut off. It may not be clear. Well, let me let me cue it up. For some reason, it cut off some of the some of the info. All right, it's going to print right up here, and I'll explain what happened. So your right side of your assignment kind of kind of cut off for some reason. It printed at the top. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to twelve. While on the right side is also one, two, three, four. Those are the angle numbers. Those are the angle numbers. It's <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait you need to get that done with this? Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me make that thing again. This is kind of fast. Maria, you. Come on, it's Monday. You had a rough weekend, huh? You party all weekend? You're going to sleep all weekend? Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, ma'am. So that's your line. So this is angle one. Angle one and angle two. Angle one. Angle two. Angle one. Angle two. Angle one. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right, so your assignment should have looked like this. You got, oh, mine's cut off too. Mine's cut off even worse. 
Uh, no, you're going to use them more than once. There's not a matching. It's not a word bank. There's just possible ways to answer this. Let me do this again. Why is this printing so weird? All right, this is what it should have looked like. All right, so you guys match this up. Angle one and angle 12. Any relationship there? No. They're way, they're, they're not, they're way outside. They're way outside. They're way exterior. We, didn't, we don't talk about like multiple lines between them. We're, we're just talking about two lines, okay? I mean, you could make a case. That there's an angle relationship, but we're not going to go there here in geometry. We're not, we're not going to be that complicated here. Just know that angle one and angle 12 do not have a relationship. Because look where they are. Angle one is right here. Angle 12 is right there. Now, if, that, if the angle 12 was over here, I could say alternate exterior angles. But that, that, we're not going to see we're not going to see anything like that, okay, in geometry. So I'm not going to go there. I'm going to tell you there's no relationship. Now, angle one and angle 11. What's that one? Is it AE? Alternate exterior angles, angle one and angle 11? These are angles by position. That's called what? Corresponding. The corresponding was just C. You guys can even you can even say C for that answer. Now angle one and angle ten. What are those two? Well, they they are they are a linear pair, right? They are a linear pair because they're along a straight angle. When they're alternate, but alternate same side isn't a thing. Alternate same side is not a thing. Uh, okay, so that's a linear pair. And angle one and angle nine, that is given for you right there. Those are vertical angles. You guys remember vertical angles? That's what they look like. I'm erasing this. So now, we match up angle one and angle eight. Well, there's angle one. Angle eight is over here. Is there any relationship there? No, there's no relationship there, guys. They're not corresponding. They're alternate, but one's interior, one's exterior. That's not that's not a thing in geometry. We're not going to have that be anything. How about angle one and angle seven? Again, we got all these lines between them. That's no, there's no relationship there either. How about angle one and angle six? Yeah, it's way out there. Again, there's all these lines between them. If, if, if this line wasn't there, they'd be same side exterior, but we're not going to talk about a relationship there. That's a surprise. That's a surprise. How about angle one and angle five? Are they corresponding? What about angle one and angle five? What what type of relationship? Yeah, they are a linear pair. They are both adjacent angles right next to a straight angle. That's a linear pair. Angle one and angle four. Here's my angle four. What's that relationship? 
Yeah, they're on the same side of that transversal. And they're exterior the, the lines. So same side, exterior angles, which is just going to be SE. And angle one and angle three. Angle one and angle three. Ooh. There's a relationship. Why is there a relationship? Now we're skipping, but there's a relationship there. What is that relationship? It's corresponding. You see how this is upper left and this is upper left? We can do that. We can skip around with corresponding angles. That's okay. That one we can do. We're just going to put C there. Now angle one and angle two. They're alternate our transversal, and they're outside the two lines. So this is alternate exterior angles. All right, that's what we're doing. So now move on to, to angle two, match it up with angle 12, and tell me the relationship. That's what we're doing for lesson class period. If you don't finish this, this is homework. I'll do it. Can I, do it? I got to do something else. Really, you got to take a break? Too much for you? Oh God, Hunter's going to beat you on this. Oh, you got to do something? Okay, yeah. And if you got something else you got to get done, do it. Oh, this, uh, you know, this is due tomorrow, okay? So work on this. I can get it done. Did you review? Okay. Right, girl. Can I give you another review to do? It's gonna, it's gonna look. I, I didn't. I changed the review on them on Thursday. I didn't like it. The, the, the test doesn't work. Are you gonna take for a break? I'm taking it for a break. I'll take this. I'll put this in for a grade too. If you guys don't know this, I gave everybody five points. Problem I have with this, but it, it, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Seven points. I'm you Seven points. Plus, I'm plus I'm letting you I'm letting you use it on the test. Oh, really? Seven points. No, they were absent. That's not my fault. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do seven points you and seven points everybody. Yeah, I have my two points. Go ahead. No, did they, did they do both? It looks like really one. Yeah, that's some of them did both. Some of them did both. About half the class did both. So they came in to go over it, and I'm like, no, nah, move it out. Because we went, we had yes. each set in between. Give her yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll give you five, and I'll give you some candy. I'll take that. Hey, bring it up. Bring it in the donuts. I don't have donuts. I have candy. Yeah. What candy do you think about it? What candy do you have? Uh, none, none, yeah. none your candy. None your business. Hold on, I got, I got, I got to grab a review for the for Hunter. <laughs> Did I run out of those? I thought I had one left. You know what? I think it's in my extra pile. It's all turning. That's all assignments. Where's my extra assignments? Here's an extra. You might have to print it. Here it is. I had two extras. Oh no, that's the old one. That's one of you did. I got to print them off. I got printed off. I got room. I got time. Oh. 
Thank you. 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 <laughs> yes, ma'am. Say again. Two and twelve. I don't know. Let's take a look. Two and twelve. Yes, they are. Good job. What do you got? Two minutes? Oh, there it was. There was. That's it. That's not the PDF, though. That's not going to print pretty. Can I load this as a PDF? Um, um, um. I know I see two yet. Tell them what happens. Really? Uh -huh. You are. Ah, you are. Sure. Okay. Where are you headed? I, I got I got it on the printer. Go ahead on that way. Yeah. 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 You don't bark like one. All right, who do I who, who's missing? Who do I have here? 